Hi everybody, Adam here. Today we're taking a look at some upcoming plans that we have for building additional tank cars to go around our layout. Now you may recall from uh, our previous videos that we built this Procore tank car based on instructions from Brick Train Depot. Been really happy with this tank car. I think it looks awesome and really want to get more of this style of tank car around our layout. And, you know, I've been happy with the, the Procore look on this, uh, on this particular tank car, but I'm always on the lookout for, uh, you know, other types of liveries that we can put on tank cars and, uh, you know, on train cars in general. And in some recent reading that I was doing, in the January issue of Railroad Model Craftsman. Was really excited to find out they had this article in here talking about uh, the Rapido Procore GP20 tank cars. And looking at them, I really liked the idea that there was the uh, Alberta, Government of Alberta livery for the tank car. And they talked about some other interesting liveries. So. I took this and I went and did some research online and found some more uh, more images of the different types of liveries that they've got on these particular model railroad cars and really excited by them. I think there's some really cool ones in here. Some different Procore ones, which is cool. But I really liked these ones over here so you can see we've got the alberta government of alberta a nice cp rail looking one there and then some bc rail ones here as well which i think are really cool so i did a little more digging for some reference images and uh, came up with you can see this one right here so british columbia railway Really nice style, uh, you know, text and images on there. I think that would look really cool. Got another one here that's another image showing uh, the style of the tank car and then some additional images of the, the individual liveries. And then we've got one final image here showing a close-up of the Alberta one, which... You know, again, you know, not only do I really like the uh, the text on there, but I think the the coloring of that text is really cool as well. I like the uh, the font style here, and then the fact that this is all in uh, more of an orange color. I think it adds some nice variety from some of the other liveries, and uh, you know, would really pop around the layout. Now, looking at this from a building perspective. The, the black style uh, liveries that the Alberta car has and that you see on the, the CP rail uh, would not be hard to, to do. Those are basically uh, the same style as the, the Procore one here. Uh, black is very easy to, well, relatively easy to come by in, uh, in these particular two by three slope pieces that we've got on here. Um, so it would be very easy from a brick perspective to, uh, to build, you know, additional ones that could be, uh, you know, could be CP rail, could be Alberta, could be the additional Procore uh, liveries that we've got here. The more challenging one out of this set of different liveries is the, the BC rail ones. The, I could probably do dark green for most of this and get it to work. The difficulties will come in the, uh, the bricks for the end caps here. Uh, Cause that style of brick does not come in, uh, in dark green. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do for it. I, I really would like to try to do a, uh, a tank car in this style. What I think I might try is getting 
getting everything that I can in dark green and then maybe looking for, I think if we did a black end caps with the, uh, the dark green body, it would probably be too, um, too sharp a contrast, like too big a color difference. But I'm wondering if I could try to, I have to look a little bit at what the end caps come in, but maybe if I could get an end cap in a, a dark brown, uh, which should be doable. That might not look quite as bad against the, the dark green. Uh, you know, it could be kind of, could play it off a bit as a, um, as kind of like rust or something like that. Obviously the, uh, the tubing and some of these top pieces would have to be black as well, or possibly another color that was just closer or worked better with the dark green. But overall, I think, you know, I think it would look really cool. So I think I will try to, uh, try to work those colors out the best that I can and see what we can come up with and then see how it plays out from there. Beyond the bricks for these tank cars, I will definitely need to look into the, the decals for all the liveries and see if I can get those from OK Brickworks. Uh, you know, I really think that, you know, the decals for these would really pop really awesome around the, the layout on these tank cars. So really keen to see what, uh, see what we can manage to recreate, but really excited about the potential of this. And, you know, as I've mentioned before, I really like to look at, uh, these model railroad magazines, lots of great inspiration to be had. And, you know, sort of cool thing, cool images and ideas to, uh, you know, get the creative juices flowing for potential Lego products. So definitely excited about the potential of adding a number of these tank cars to the, to the layout. Uh, my initial thought, I'd like to probably get up to 10 uh, of this style of tank car around the layout. So that's another nine. So probably doing probably doing at least one more in the, the Procore style like that. And then uh, probably doing one of the, one of the green ones to start with and see just how close I can get uh, in terms of the, uh, the look and how, uh, you know, how big a deal the, the color discrepancies are. So we'll start with one there on that and then probably do a couple of the Alberta ones, a couple of CP rails, maybe a few more of the alternate pro core um, style. So definitely I think should be pretty cool. And, you know, I want to get a large number of these tank cars around the layout, not only for our personal use here, as we start to, you know, get some more industries running around the, the layout here, definitely want to have the tank cars to pair up with that. But then I also want to be able to have a, uh, a roster of these to pull from when we go to, to shows and uh, run our trains in other locations. So really excited about this. Make sure to, to stay tuned. I will uh, have update videos as the BrickLink parts start to, to roll in and we start to assemble these. And we'll definitely do some videos as we have them running around the, the layout with some of the upcoming industry projects that we have uh, on deck that we'll be talking about more in upcoming videos. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.